carb spacer like between the carb and air filter that's on the that's on the capri some of those big ones <laughs> well this is only <clears throat> four years after and the 350 didn't change much well, it's got a brand new fuel pump brand new brand spanking new with a fuel filter <clears throat> down there already i don't like this terminal like that no. i like this one yeah rules held in <laughs> Hopes attached and, here, not attached here, not attached here. This one's broken. It's held in by hopes and dreams. Probably held in like right here. Why about this thing? Yeah, there's not one right there. It's <laughs> probably right here. The person's right here. Oh my gosh, look, there's a screw. Okay. She wants chrome bumpers. Chrome bumpers. What? She wants chrome bumpers. What? Front and rear roll panes. No, sport. It's gonna get it's getting a chrome front and a sport rear. Because <clears throat> that's the Cheyenne way. Cheyenne. I can still make Cheyenne. Needs new turn signals all the way around. Needs new side markers all the way around. Yeah, but keep those. Those are the fancy ones. I'll keep them for don't, the trim. I don't know don't if you could the, apply them to don't a regular. Don't get the solid no. reflectors. Well, I'm going to get what came on the truck. You should have checked your oil. I can check my oil. You should have got it warm and checked your transmission. I'd say it is warm. It is not warm. I'd say it's warm enough. I say... That. <clears throat> oh, you need a longer dipstick. No, I don't. Just the... It's perfect. Cool. I literally would put the worst tires you could buy on this truck. <laughs> what are they? Oh yeah, the tranny's good. Good use. It's got to be good use. I can just go. I'm gonna get Coopers. I will only buy Coopers from now on till I die. Oh my gosh, the dash pad. Yeah, I took it out. Why? Because it's disgusting. You just gotta clean that up. No. I'm praying it. Absolutely not. Getting yeah. a brand new one. Golly, you're... Look at that. Dude, that, that is, is garbage. Nothing. That is garbage. I will not put this back in the truck. If you want it, you can keep it for yours out there in the field. It's got one. Wait, no, no. <laughs> well, here, take it then. Oh, put it, you can leave it back there. You get... You've changed. <laughs> Shut up. We don't fight, <clears> dude. And just like a good woman that Tori is, she said she doesn't want to cut it. She wants to leave it long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Gotta love a woman that loves a long bed. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. It is very chilly today. It is probably like 38 degrees. Um, the video you see before this last week um, was literally just two days ago from filming this part. And uh, it was in the 60s and 70s. So in two days, we went from 60 to 70 degrees to what, 30 and whatever so let's check out some stuff we didn't really go over the truck a little bit more uh more or less in the last episode so let's take a look at the uh glove box tag and let's see what's on here so this is a uh initially we thought someone put um heavy duty springs in the rat in the back but um so this is a cheyenne um heavy front springs Heavy rear springs, so that explains that. Don't know why someone would put uh, those on a half ton. Um, I've just zero clue. Um, power steering, it does no long, doesn't any longer have any power steering. Um, has a chrome rear bumper that's no longer on it, so we're gonna get a sport bumper for the woman put on here. Um, let's see what else we got here. It has it came with a rear sliding glass. Um, right now it's solid in it. I prefer solid um, over the sliding, just a little bit better. And uh, full, where's that at? Full wheel covers that are no longer on it. It's got four rallies. Um, so, but everything else on here is correct. White, dark olive, and white. Three fifty. All that good stuff. So that's that in the interior. We're gonna get. She wanted to. I asked her if she wanted to do uh, keep it green or if she wanted to go black. And 
she decided she wants to go green so we're gonna go green and uh so we'll place the dash pad get new carpet kill mat have the seat recovered i'm probably gonna put uh, if i can't find this reproduced i'm gonna try my hardest to take this piece of wood off i'm gonna just gonna put steel on back on the door if i can find this green and put this on here i'm gonna find vinyl that matches this wood i'm gonna put it over the glove box over the ashtray and then on the gauge cluster and give it that nice good look um i gotta put in a head uh panel on the top and fix and repaint all that trim and uh find a factory steering wheel i think i'm gonna do the three spoke the industrial looking one um i think they are a little bit better i don't know it just depends on what she wants and what i can find so that's the interior of the truck she we're gonna do get the new bumper chrome and do the back bumper i'm gonna take this out paint that black again and uh i gotta do a bunch of stuff in here i'm gonna get a new belt put a new belt on uh fluids are good it's got a brand new fuel pump i gotta get new battery terminals and manual brakes manual steering as of right now so once i get it kind of running okay oh yeah i'm probably gonna have to replace the carb but once I get it running okay, clean up where I'm going to do a full episode on cleaning up this paint. And then i uh, got to get all new tires. I've got a set of full face, uh, full cover hubcaps I'm going to put on here that are a little bit different. They are, uh, they are uh, what probably would have been aftermarket. So I think those will look really cool. They'll be different. I'm all about unique and different. So... I think it'll look really cool. So, have of course have all the glass tinted. I'm looking for the. Uh, uh, this came with the big uh, West Coast type mirrors, the toe mirrors kind of thing. I'm gonna get the just the bar and then put a silver circle on it, and that should be good. Needs new wipers. Um, had the antenna over there, original, and then I think someone cut this one here because it's kind of disgusting. Don't know what I'm gonna do there. I may attempt, cause I gotta paint the rockers anyway, so I may attempt to fill these on both sides in and then try to color that to match the paint. I mean, it won't be too hard since the paint's already destroyed, but I think it'll look really sick. So let's see, um, I don't know if I have really anything to do actually. I was gonna replace the terminals, but I gotta go get terminals or the clamps for the battery. Cause I'm tired of pricking myself every time I want to take the cable off so the battery don't go dead because I, I go a couple days without touching this thing. So I'm probably just gonna, I'll probably pull it in here a little bit more and then we'll clean the interior up and vacuum it out a little bit. Does that sound good? Good. <laughs> Side, though floor is not as dirty now covered in dirt so that's awesome 
I gotta figure out what's wrong with the column. The column, something, the way it does that, and then it shifts weird. So if you know exactly what that is and you're watching this, please tell me what I need to do to, cause it's like, you gotta jam it. Like this does, I feel like this is supposed to move back and forth, but it don't. And so you gotta yank it down here into whatever gear you're doing and then it's it's just not right so i'll have to fix that so if you know what that is in the comments let me know or send me a find me on instagram phil fatworks and send me a dm talk about it i gotta figure out what this is too other side's fine with this but i gotta fix that I gotta fix this door right here that's come out i don't even know how i'm gonna start with that but that's going to be adventure for sure. All right, so that's just about it for this part of the video. There's going to be more on, but this is all I got. This is all I'm able to do today. Before we get to the next part of the video, I'm going to back this thing out so you can hear how terrible it is. these terminals like I said earlier in one of these videos so let's get right on to it It's really trash.
I don't even know what this is for. That's a freaking mess. Extra length on these, otherwise, I'd be screwed. I have to go get new wires completely, which would suck. Someone really wanted to just make it go really fast and didn't really care about how they did it, they just wanted it hooked up to go. Alright, I'm gonna go get some things to cut that. this thing will start. So I lost a nut, and then I was digging in the fender, and all that stuff was shoved in the fender. Gross.
right guys i guess that's it for today we've got a little bit done on the truck battery clamps hubcaps wheels we're gonna have to get new tires sometime did some of the paint today and then off camera i was hanging out with dad digging around some stuff got some tail light rings so those are on mm -hmm. I think that'll conclude it for this video. Stay tuned for some more.